with infinite complacency, men went to and fro about the level, confident in their empire over this world. Yet, across the gulf of space, intellects simple, mostly sober, and confused, regarded our walls with envious eyes, and slowly and surely drew their plans against us. <laughs> Nope, nope, stop that. Forget, forget about that. We're not doing that. We don't have, that's, whoa, that's not in the budget. No, no, okay, we're just, uh, we're just gonna go with the basic opening. Okay, we're just gonna go with the basic opening. Forget you ever saw that. Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, Hi, uh, everyone. <laughs> hello, and welcome to Mudbots. Uh, we're Team Demon Balls. I'm Lord Cannibal, and this is my friend. I'm Demon Hot Rod, and uh, we're gonna win this. Oh, like... we're absolutely gonna win this. We have a plan. We don't have a plan, but we're still going to win. <laughs> we have half a plan. <laughs> so, yeah. That was that was beautiful. Well done. Thank right. you very much. So, about 30 seconds, so I'm going to go back and press the start, and then okay. we shall be there, okay? So, yeah, catch you in a second. Good luck. I might need more food, because my steak has only filled me up part of the way. Yes. No, he's gone. He's gone anyway. Okay. I am <laughs> Captain Duck. And, and I'm MBD. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And we are Team Tsunami. For reasons which after... will become appropriate soon. Yes, it's a plan that has been developed in the pub. <laughs> after so we many shall beers. see how successful it is. It is a beer plan. This, yeah, beer plan. This sounds only like it could work. <laughs> yeah. Right. I can't imagine how it could possibly fail. Gentlemen, I wish you the best of luck. I wish you equal luck with the other team. And uh, may the force be ever in your favour, Harry. <laughs> Thanks, Gandalf. Cheers. <laughs> right. Good luck. Fight bravely, Team Tsunami. I shall be back. See ya. To infinity. I... I've, I've fallen to the ceiling. There we go. To <laughs> infinity. <laughs> Beep. Yeah, see ya. Oh, oh, bro. Oh, oh, let's let's go, let's go. Right. Right. Uh, Paddock. Right. Stay calm. totally wasn't relaxing then. <laughs> so we need buckets. Right, let's go down here. Found a chest. Nice. It has oh, TNT and an enchanting table. Redstone, yeah. uh, splash potion of poison, string, bottle of enchanting, and some fire chargers. And I will take the chest. Because we need that for the trap. Can we use... Oh, shit. Can we use um the fire charges to burn stuff? Or is that... Um, technically, yes. How do you make a dispenser? Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> it's been that long since I've played Minecraft, I have no idea. I think it's stone surrounded by redstone, or is that a note block? I don't know. I'll Wikipedia it in a second. <laughs> I am off to the exploring. Excellent. Good luck with that. Somewhere over here, there's a little alleyway. Oh, ceilings have become above me. How's the old? Oh, am I lagging a little? Some immense lag then. This is insanely unsafe. Just to make it clear. That's what we like. Yeah. If it's dangerous to us, imagine how dangerous it's going to be to them. I also have some TNT, which we could do something with. I'm sure. Shit, how do I find coal? I've forgotten. 
We're getting through it pretty quick, though. We are getting through it pretty quick. I wonder if I could, like, parkour up the trees and try and do it from, like, top to bottom. Maybe. That'd be the easiest way for the bigger trees. Yeah. I'm going up. I'm going up. <laughs> nice. Parkour, parkour. Whoop, whoop. Parkour, parkour. There's a, there's a thing in one of these trees. I think it's the big one, isn't it? There's a chest somewhere, yeah. Do you want to go and try and find it? If you can, that'd be great. It might be something useful. Mr. Hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, check me out. I'm a ninja skills. Where else are you? You're in the trees? Yeah, I'm in the trees. I'm worried that we're going to spend half an hour chopping down these trees and then realise it's not actually gained us anything. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly it. We're going to be left with, like, nothing. Yeah, except a massive tower of wood. Yeah, we're going to have an absolute ton of wood. Oh, I found, I found it. I found one. I found a... What we got? We got rotten flesh, arrows, bone, and cocoa beans. So, nothing. Basically. No. I have another good idea. What's that? We've, we're going to have a ton of wood at the end of this, so why don't we build a massive wood fort Yeah. with several layers to it. Okay. Uh, hang on, I'm just going to swap what I've got. Uh, and then they have to climb up it to get in it, drop down to the middle, and then we set it all on fire. Okay. Let's do, do you want to do that? I don't know. Or do you, do you want to carry on with the, the platform sounds like idea? It would take a lot of time to build. Yeah, fortress wood, especially as we got to chop down all the wood in the first place. Like. <laughs> That's a good point. But our other, it, our other option relies entirely on building a massive platform. Yeah. Could, if we build a bucket, could we put lava down it so they can't get up it? Yes, if we can find lava. I just chopped down a, a massive tree. Nice. Now, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, this is quite... Game of Thrones in this plan. The only thing is, though, I still can't find any iron. Of course, an issue is. This could all go horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's definitely going to go horribly wrong. And if anyone's looking at my screen at the moment, they will see me digging in the dark. Maybe they'll accidentally drown themselves. The awesomeness that is Team Tsunami. Yeah, but how are we going to get the water. Oh yeah, shit. I can't remember it being this hard last time. That's what, that's she, what she says. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we're on a team. Oh god. Yeah, if they do get in through the wall, then it's just going to be scorched earth for them. Because I'm pretty much levelling this place now. Oh, I'm out of picks again. Okay, I need wood to make a thing. Couldn't have left the crafting bench on the top. There is one up there. Is it? He turns around. Somewhere. Near the starting area. Yeah. Ah, yeah, found it. Right, this was a terrible idea. I have wasted almost an entire pickaxe. I still haven't found any coal. Right. I'm going to have to come back up to the surface. Whichever way that is. I'm back to digging by hand. There is still a butt ton of trees. <laughs> it's very dark. I'll come, I'll come give you a hand if you like. But I can do it. If you want to make is... some pickaxes. Oh, I can do it. I've got yeah. some stone. Hold on. If you, if you vomit me the stone, I'll... Uh... I might as well just go and make them. Good <laughs> gotcha. Um, should probably make like bread as well out of the. Uh... Yeah, we can harvest all the wheat. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. I'm starving. Yeah, well done. There you go. Lost a few bits, but nothing, nothing major. Three bits isn't too bad. No, it's good. I'm gonna have to How many bits of wheat did you get? Um, eight. I've got 16. That's not too bad. There you go, some bread for uh, week there. Okay. I really need iron. Yeah. God, you don't get much back from uh, bread. I've got, I've got six bread. Do you want, do you want half? Uh, I could do one or two. Okay. Oh, that'd be good, thanks. Okay. 
Um, Thank you. Okay, okay, new plan, new plan. Uh, or different plan or, you know, any plan. <laughs> <laughs> we need iron really badly. Yeah. We got this, yo. One, two, one, two. Right, I've got pickaxes. Where are you? Sweet. I'm right behind you. Um, Sweet. Thank you. Uh, not, not that one. Hold on. Not, oh. not, not that one either. <laughs> nice. Potion. Is that a potion of swiftness or something? Splash poison, sweet. I think it was. Oh, sweet. That's yeah. Useful. So if we can get up top, we can just chuck it at them. Yeah. Uh, I like that plan. What's it doing, isn't it? Let's go dig. Right. Except for our inability to get the one key ingredient, everything's fine. Guess what, Doug? Yeah. I've just Have found got... iron. Yeah, boy! Now all I need is coal. Construction's going well. Excellent. Call me Bran the Builder. It's like in Game of Thrones. Ah, uh, shit. Right. And then, over the digger. Hold on. Digger. Go the digger. MZ Mill. <laughs> yeah, it's what I do! Solving solving problems and providing solutions involve digging. Shit, I've just tunnelled into my own tunnel. Sounds medically complicated. It was quite the realisation. How can it have been this hard to find coal? Like, we were in almost full armour last time we played this. Have you got a pickaxe? Wooden pickaxe. Okay. I can't see a damn thing, so if you want to put down a torch, that'd be, you know, something you're welcome to do. Impartial camera bastard. <laughs> it's like a nature show, he's having to watch the, uh, the llamas. Slowly die. Fail to find coal. And here we see Captain Doug flailing in the dark. That looks like quite a lot of fire, so... something awesome behind it. Are we going to get a five minute warning as well, do you think? Yeah. Because that would be pretty chill. I didn't look at my fucking watch again. Yeah. Okay, now I can't be asked to do this either. That's it! I'm going to build a wall. I have a grand total of two cobwebs. So we can make an iron door. Uh, yeah, we could. We could put that it's, on the it's house. It's expensive on iron, though. It is. Bits, isn't it? I'm thinking we could we, put it we on. We could use two, two could... axes. Yeah. How much have we got? Have we got enough? We we have eighteen, but we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to make any armor or anything. Hmm. See, we could put the iron door on the house so that it opens when they go into it, but shuts them in, and they'd have to dig their way out. And by which time the, T yeah, so, the TNT yeah. goes off. That's a good point. You think they'd fall for that, though? I don't know. Would they? Would they go into an iron door? I suppose most people would, especially if the door was. <laughs> but then you'd see the uh, pressure plate on the floor, I suppose. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I guess they'd think the pressure plate was probably booby trapped, wouldn't they? Yeah, and they'd probably dig underneath anyway. Yeah. All right, I'll leave that then. Maybe we're just giving them far too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm out. At last. Hey, excellent. Oh god, nine minutes. Yeah. Nice. Um. So, what should I build with this iron? What do you reckon? Um, I think axes. Yeah, a couple of axes. We get one each. Right. I'm going to put a chest in this building. Do not open it. <laughs> okay. Okay. We got this. Uh, there's an axe for you here. Chest for a trap. That would have been disastrous. Nearly put a normal chest down. <laughs> uh, should I just build a pla the platform? Oh, uh, I suppose the platform sky high is the last thing we want to do, right? Yeah, probably. But we want to try and get rid of it as well, don't we? Need yeah. to burn. Uh, oh, you! Oh, you've got loads of stuff in the, the chest. That's I can build a uh, an arrow. Question is, how does one? Build. Is it that? No. You're building a bow. Yeah. String down the left-hand side, and then. Like a triangle. Wood. There you go. Yeah, yeah. triangle wood. Yeah. 
I'll build us one each, because, you know, may as well. Oh, raining? I hate rain. Um, Which is quite ironic, given our current weather. Are you planning on going back down the river? Uh, I could if you want me to. No, I'm going to trap it if you don't. My digging tunnel became a moat again. Oh, Doug. Don't do this to me. Don't I die on me, Doug. I'm not, I didn't, I'm not dead. Thank God for that, Doug. I feel better. Stay with me, man. <laughs> that was awesome, just as the lightning went off. I can't do this without you, John. That's what she said. Right. What the fuck are we... Oh, shh. This plan is getting weirder and... Why is it such a rickety... Why have you built a diagonal staircase to the top of it? <laughs> to get up to it. I know, but... That was the first sign that this was an extremely dangerous plan for us, the users. Oh shit, done that wrong. Plus it means if we have to fight on it, we'll be more prepared, because we know it's dangerous. <laughs> I think... Anyone can tell it's dangerous. Yeah, but we're prepared for that danger. Mentally. Very mentally. Right. I'm out, I'm out of spades. Dun dun dun! Here we go! Operation Soak the Earth is almost nearing completion. I'm just doing the top of this. Uh, it's the one that's directly ahead of where we started, rather than off to the side, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Cool. That's the side of the wall that I'm on. Oh shit. Oh Sorry. shit. It's what? fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Wait, there's water down there now, ain't there? It's not fine, it's not fine. Hello. <laughs> 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 Wait, I'm gonna make no. another bucket. Do you have you have bread, right? Oh shit! <laughs> John, bread. Go away, Pete. <laughs> Stop watching Doug, us can struggle. You, Doug, can you yeah. dig down to me? Uh, well, oh first, fuck it! I'm just gonna first, walk I'm back in the end of the chest. Smelt faster. Oh, we're gonna come down in a second. Oh, no. I think one of the rules was not allowed to build over the sand wall height. They're on that side. They're doing some pretty water found formation thing. It doesn't help that Adam's probably some sort of crack shot. Some sort of crack shot. Like, not one. If I can get close enough to the wall, they won't be able to see me. Okay. So, I'll go build an axe and we can tear down these trees. What, what for? I don't know. Oh god, don't... Mm. But I'll never defend this entirely on my own. If only I'd built some kind of defensive structure. Oh wait. I believe the phrase is, Come at me, bro. They've built a moat. They have actually built a moat. Do you want me to sneak over there? Do you, do you think that's your... a good idea? Yeah, I'll take, the, I'll take the one TNT we've got. I'll give you everything else that's good. Okay. Um, some of them. I better build like a... Let me, let me build a chest. So I can store some of it. Okay. I've got a chest. Have you? Okay, yeah. Some there. So bones, da, 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 gold, keep the pickaxe, get rid of I want to see what happens if we fill our square with water. It would be amazing. We could have boats ready. We have a poison potion, redstone. Actually, I'll take a piece of redstone for torch. NB Echo D. This is quite, uh, this is amazing. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I'll keep my arrows. Flint and tinder. No, I'll take that. Oh, why do I keep falling down this bloody thing? That, okay, where are they now? Bold. John's just kind of splashing about. He's oblivious. Right, okay. I um, don't know where... Oh, arrows, dog's on the walls. That. Okay. Honestly, I haven't got my sea legs yet. <laughs> And TNT, and I need a redstone torch. If you go down, then I'm just going to go kamikaze. I think we may have to go and look for them, because they're obviously being pansies. Well, I'm going to finish building my, half of my side of the wall. It's getting quite pretty now. Oh, yeah. OK, I'm going down. Good luck. So, Knockbots plays the walls and calls truce. <laughs> just, just builds for an hour. Or <laughs> just builds, yeah. Should we, should we go together? Like, uh, we could, we could. Well, now that we know what they've done, we can sneak under their base. You could guide me into their base. It's also flooding our part, but but nicely. You know. 
Wish you luck. Uh, Do you need an axe? No, I got it. Here we go. I've got another one. I can go and set fire to their stuff. It's nice and quiet down here. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Oh, you do have to go, don't oh, you? Oh, there's an arrow. Is that an arrow? That is an arrow. What? Is that an arrow? Or is that my texture pack fucking up? Ah! Oh. <laughs> you nearly got him. A couple of times. Doug moves too much. Are they going right to the back of their wall? Yeah, they, they, they're kind of moving all the way. If that makes sense. Yeah. Oh. And now that Doug's doing some fancy water trick. That is a fire. I think I might have been at some point. It's an arrow oh. in the... in there. Uh, are you actually in their quadrant? Or are you in no, the left I've one? No, i just still? hit the border of the left one. Mm. It's okay, because as long as they can't hit, as long as they keep missing us, they're just using up arrows. Ah, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you for shit, so you're no, I'm, good. I'm underground. <laughs> I'm thinking what I can do is if I build a wall of dirt as I'm moving along, they won't be able to see my name next to it. So as long as they don't see me put the wall, the uh, dirt down. <laughs> <laughs> Jungle wood plank, doo -doo 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 -doo. Jungle wood planks. Jungle. Okay, I'm sneaking back. Okay, they're both they're both on their walls. They're just walking up and down. Is it up and down? Is it sand in the middle? What of their wall? No, of the. Oh walkway. yeah, yeah. It's it's like sand or, and Damn. sandstone and stuff. So I can't tunnel underneath it. No, I not could really. tunnel over it. You could try. If I could get to the very back corner and they don't see me, no, oh, they'd see me build the pillar. Yeah. I could just go right over their heads. Should we build a house? We're just going to outlive them. <laughs> yeah. Best defense is living well. Best revenge. I oh, know we'll run out of food because I, or I could build a hoe. Oh yeah. I've only got the one string. I need three string. Shit. Uh, I've got some string. How many? Twenty-four. <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> they just—they've just got a never-ending string, and they're just like. I kind of want to come down. I'm oh, actually in a potion of enchanting. How do I do? I have to throw this at myself or at you or what? Uh, well, yeah, you just look down and throw it. Okay. You have to be holding. Okay. What's happened? Do anything? Um, you might see your level go up. Ow! Ow! I've become. Yeah, my levels have gone up. So how does this? Oh my god! What? We've just got rivers everywhere. This place is amazing. We have... we've totally won this one. They have made a very pretty base though. I'll give them that. The entire competition's based on aesthetics, right? I think so. Ow! What just happened? They just... oh shit! There's some TNT on the ground! I think they're over the wall. Oh, I can see Lord Cannonball there. Lord Cannonball is, is on fire and died. That works! <laughs> what just oh. happened? I think... I think he came through and then tried to set off his TNT but got trapped in our water. The water works! The water worked! It like pushed him into his own TNT. And I managed to swim away? Yeah. <laughs> we are the water babies. Yeah. Don't so shall in. we go murderize Adam now? Yeah, that was two of us and one of him. Hang on. What have I... I got some bread. Do you want some bread? Some of Chris's bread. And I was there busy planting seeds. Yeah. <laughs> Digging in for the long haul. Um. Yeah, I'll take some bread. Actually, I think I ate a little bit. Sorry. Oh, okay. That's okay. Oh, okay. yeah. That's, that. that's Lord Cannonball. Oh, I've got a bow and 31 arrows now. Oh shit, what's that sound? I think that was I the microphone. 
Oh, got, this isn't going to go well for me either. I was right up next to them, and then they came back, and I could hear them going through all the chests and doing potions and stuff. Game over. Game oh, over. man. Wow. And then Doug literally dug the block in front of me, and I panicked and put TNT down. Here we are with Team Tsunami. The victorious the team, of course. Rama Victor. Fantastic bastards that we are. Yes. Congratulations, I think that's the first thing I need to offer you both. Thanks very much. Although, I should hasten to add, there is fire spreading behind you. Um, uh, in that case, we shall make this uh, somewhat quick. <laughs> Good. So, uh, yes, uh, basically, I have just a few questions. First of all, what do you think was really the key to your victory? Uh, Doug, would I, you like to go first on this one? I would say wall-building abilities. Yeah, I mean, for me, it was really a plan concocted in the pub at length over multitudinous alcoholic beverages. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And basically perfect execution of that plan. Flawless. And really, yeah. Couldn't it, have gone better. And the I fact that they was, yeah. sat over there was just perfect because it gave us the time then to really just add some beautiful yeah. finishing touches like this sort of battlement effect we've got going on. Uh, yeah. I think I think just added a little bit of aesthetic to it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I would say also uh, our ability to eventually find coal. Yes. Now, for that, Doug, we are eternally grateful. Um, without coal, we would have no bucket. And without bucket, our walls would not be the same. No, they didn't. Because they, they would just be walls. Yeah. Yeah, the, the water's really what made it tsunami yeah walls. i don't think we could have carried the name off were it not for the water really so <laughs> next time lava yeah we need to come up with a similar one that means lava john how would you describe your your feelings throughout this uh match of the walls so far so uh from beginning to end take us on an emotional roller coaster that is your journey <laughs> through the walls Initially, it was one of dying a lot in spawn, um, and that wasn't too much fun. But then we were down here, and it was very intense, very, very intense. The search for coal is what drove me throughout. And once we had that coal, I felt much happier with the entire situation. Um, then we both constructed the wall, and I felt like we did a good job. There was good teamwork, good division of labour. Doug had it sorted right from the off, and I just pitched in at the end just to add it some height. And then it was just a case of, as I said, adding the finishing touches. The crash didn't help, I'll admit that much. Um, but I came back, and watching Chris blow himself up as Lord Cannonball, I feel was one of the highlights there. So pretty good, all in all. Fair enough. That's a, that's a moment that's going to go down in sporting history in terms of the walls. Uh, to be entered into the annals, possibly the moment where Chris snuck into your base and then managed to blow himself up? Yeah. Right, so. Okay, thank you very much. I, I, actually, I would say Chris hiding underground for five minutes and then exploding is, uh, yeah, pretty flipping classic. I think it might be on BBC News tomorrow. Let's tweet about it, then, then it will be sure. <laughs> yeah, because we have all 24 of our followers to tell. Right, that's perfect. So, Captain Doug. Yes, I am. On a scale of one to amazing, how um, would you say that went for you? <laughs> uh, I would say it went pretty well. To begin with, uh, we were panicked because we didn't have enough coal. John pulled his finger out and found, well... Iron, I found iron. Yeah, and then I found coal. And that really solved it for us. Once I stopped building a wall and started looking for coal, really sorted things out. Uh, I'm out of arrows. Um, yeah. To begin with, the wall plan was a little different, uh, but John helped refine it. And I think that, that was the key, once we figured out that we didn't want massive cascades, and instead went for a straight line with water across it, that, that really solved it. And we got lucky that when the walls came down, the water stayed where it was. Yeah, the whole mechanics of that situation could have gone very different. Yeah. I don't know, that's, uh, that's perfect. And uh, I'm just trying to think of uh, something else that I can ask. So, uh, the bombardment of arrows... Yeah, we yes. were a bit nonplussed Tower. about that. Uh, yeah. Like, I, I came back here once and saw an arrow, and was like, where's that come from? And I think my um, 
draw distance hadn't quite loaded it or something, but yeah, then I crashed. I get the impression they're planning drop on top of us. Right. So, is there anything else you'd uh, anything else you'd like to say? Um, any final thoughts? Any victory speech? Anything like that? We are the watchers on the wall. Can folk y'all? Hello, my colleagues. Okay. So, uh, so gentlemen. Hello. Hi. It, uh, it wasn't a victory. I would say it was a resounding success. But. Uh, nice. So, so you're saying so it's a success regardless of the uh, the outcome. I, I Both of you had, have made died, but we had the moral victory. Right. Okay. What is success really? Yeah. How I mean, do you really, when you think successful? about it. Exactly. We're not sore losers at all. No. Demon balls. Yeah. For life. Demon balls. High five. High five. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, hi. Yeah. We're back. That was a bromance for the moment. We like to finish each other's sandwiches. Close enough. <laughs> I would, if I had to describe the plan in one word, it would be ambitious. <laughs> ambitious but misunderstood. <laughs> um, Just three words. I would concur those thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think my thinking was we're going to be sat here for a long time. Yeah, pretty much. Like we saw that they were obviously in a base, and we were miles up in the sky. Yeah. Um, and when you kind of build walls around your entire segment, you kind of know that they're planning on turtling. Yeah, they're in it for the long haul. Yeah, so so kind of we saw that and we were like, well, you know, we, we just thought someone had to do something. Be yeah. the aggressor is what we decided. So That's our the... plan changed a lot from that point. <laughs> I was a good spotter, I thought, you know, kind of, until I generated mild panic amongst uh, the rest of the Demon Balls crew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I... I mean, it was very close. I was in their base right next to them, and then suddenly they appeared out of nowhere. So the only solution I had was to hide under a pile of dirt. Which I think is actually a very good plan when you think about it. it it's not bad. They didn't see me to start with. I mean, there are, there are many political leaders throughout history that have done that same tactic. It's, and... it's a tried and tested strategy. Yeah. So I don't ask for much more. Yeah. The odds were in our favour. Word. Word. <laughs>